So this has actually been going on for a while now, and I didn't really want to talk about it because it's kind of negative and doesn't really benefit me. However, I saw a TikTok a few days ago about someone else experiencing the same thing, another small business being harassed by these corporations. So what these elite cronies did to this person was pre-order thousands and thousands of dollars of products, like an insane amount. And they all did chargebacks or cancellations or asked for refunds in an attempt to bankrupt the guy's small business. So, you know, he spends money on the product, the shipping, has a small profit margin, and then after they cancel or get refunds or call their bank for chargebacks, guy goes broke, destroys his business. Similar things have happened to me over the past few years of running my business, and I was pretty good at recognizing the BS initially, but I mean, I don't know guys, I've probably lost dozens of thousands of dollars, at least 15 to 20,000 from these degenerates doing the same thing to me that they did to this guy's small business on that TikTok. So before I go into more detail, when you order from basically any other meat business in person, online, whether it's butcher box, various farms, most of them are in the club. And those are the same people harassing me, trying to steal money from my business so I can't grow and you know, provide you guys with high quality, affordable products, make people healthy. That's why you have to understand how incredibly important it is to support people like me as opposed to all of these other shills. And I, I can't speak for other people because I honestly don't know anyone else that's not in the club. I'm in a very unique scenario and uh, you know, kind of blessed and kind of not in a way. Now initially these people were placing very large orders and doing chargebacks. Uh, there was this one guy in Miami that ordered like thousands of dollars of Picanha over several different orders and for some reason the bank kept siding with him on the chargebacks. And there was another guy I remember in Washington DC that ordered like a thousand dollars worth of meat and he also got a chargeback with his bank. Those were the major ones. Uh, so that was what they were doing initially. And after I put a stop to that, like I would cancel their orders when I knew it was them, uh, they started ordering very small amounts of product. And my shipping charges weren't exactly set up for that. So a few of those orders were like sneaking through and I was sending them out either losing money or breaking even. Like someone would order one ribeye steak shipped to like North Dakota or something. And uh, you know, it, it's, just, it's just ridiculous. Like no one would ever actually pay that much for shipping on one steak. It just didn't make any sense. And it's pretty obvious when these people try to do this to my business because it's always a first time customer. They order something very obscure, one or two items. They have a very generic email and they pay the ridiculous shipping fee. So now I just cancel those orders. Uh, so after I put a stop to that, what they started doing was placing normal looking orders, but then would make ridiculous demands like asking for returns. And it's happened on multiple occasions, just saying really stupid things like, oh, the meat's not grass fed because there's no grass fed label on the meat. So it's not grass fed. It, it's, it's so stupid because I only sell 100% grass fed products. And then when I would try to explain that to these people, they would just like get angry and demand for a refund and then you know file a charge back with their bank. If I wanted to sell grade A Angus prawn beef, I would have started Soy Boy Meats with Corn Faker three years ago instead of Frankie's Free Range Meat. I mean, to me, it's kind of funny and pathetic that these people meet in secret and literally plot these little plans to harass me and these other poor businesses to try to make things harder. You know, I could literally tell you guys to start placing orders on a list of businesses. I could hire some Bangladeshi dudes, some Indian Pakistani dudes that have nothing better to do on their computers than to use like VPNs and start placing orders on every single other meat business online to do the same thing these guys are doing to me. I could literally do that on tenfold of a scale of what they're doing to me, but you know, I'm not that type of person. It's completely ridiculous. Why would I even consider doing that? Because I have 
reasonable moral standing unlike these people. Maybe if they had half a brain and half of a moral standing, they wouldn't have to you know, try to take down other businesses. They could be successful on their own. I mean, why shouldn't I do what these dirtbags are doing to me? It's so stupid. You know, they want to keep all of the money in their elite-owned businesses. You know, if you're not in the club, they will harass you in more ways than you can imagine. And <laughs> you guys can clearly see that I'm not joking when I say I want to disappear and move to Mexico. You know, it's things like this and all the other stuff combined, the lawsuits. It's like, you know, come on. Where are all the good people? But um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just so crazy. It's just crazy. Um, it, it hasn't really been as bad lately, but I do feel bad for those uh, small businesses where, you know, they think like they went viral and got like a really big batch of orders and it, it was really like a, an organized attack on them to just bankrupt them. So it's unfortunate. That's how it goes. You know, these, these corporations with hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, can do this very easily to these small businesses and keep the competition down. They've been doing this for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, guys. They're, they're very well trained and they know what they're doing. So it's whatever. But um, hey, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you know, sometimes I have people that experience stuff like this reach out to me. But um, uh, I guess you know what to keep an eye out for. And uh, hopefully we uh, uh, continue to grow and can continue to provide you guys with high quality and unique health products which you guys can see on frank com. But as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys soon.